And it was during those seven years that I got a first-hand look at why Donald Trump is our president today. It's the biggest question that Democrats need to answer in 2020. If you turned on cable news, you might think that he's our president today because of some mixture of Russia, racism, Facebook, the FBI, Hillary Clinton, emails, all sort of mixed together into, a, into some kind of brew. But I'm a numbers guy, and the numbers tell a very clear and distinct story that the reason why Donald Trump is our president today is that we automated away 4 million manufacturing jobs in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, all the swing states that Donald Trump needed to win. How many of you have noticed stores closing where you live here in New Hampshire? And why are those, look around you, that's crazy. But it's normal. It's unfortunately no longer crazy. Why are those stores closing here in New Hampshire? One word answer. That's right, Amazon is soaking up $20 billion in business every single year. And how much is Amazon paying in taxes in return? Zero. $20 billion out, zero back, that is the math. They are paying less in taxes than everyone here in this arena. I can say that with absolute confidence. When you all call the customer service line of a big company and you get the software, the bot, what do you do? Zero, 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 human, human, representative, until you get a human on the line. I do the exact same thing. But in two or three years, the software is going to sound like this. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? What can I do for you? It's going to be delightful, fast, efficient. You might not even realize it's software. What is that going to mean for the two and a half million Americans who answer phones for a living right now? As 30% of your stores close, the most common job here in New Hampshire is retail clerk. The average retail clerk is a 39-year-old woman making between $9 and $10 an hour. What is she going to do? We're in the midst of the greatest economic transformation in the history of our country, what experts are calling the fourth industrial revolution. When is the last time you've heard a politician say the words fourth industrial revolution, New Hampshire? Just now. And I am barely a politician. So these are the real changes that have driven Donald Trump into the White House. We decimated millions of manufacturing jobs in the swing states, and now we're doing the same thing to retail, call centers, truck driving. It's going to be a buzzsaw through the economy. And unfortunately, the people in D.C. want nothing to do with it. Trust me, I went there first. My first move was not to run for president. I'm married, I have kids. <laughs> we can solve the problems that got Donald Trump into the Oval Office in 2016. Yeah. In 2016, he said, we're going to make America great again. And what did Hillary Clinton say in response? America is already great. And that did not work out. <laughs> he got the problems essentially right, but his solutions were the opposite of what we need. His solutions were, we're going to build a wall. We're going to turn the clock backwards. We're going to bring the old jobs back. We have to turn the clock forward. We have to accelerate our economy and society as quickly as possible. We have to evolve in the way we think about work and value. And I am the ideal candidate for that job because the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. Thank you, New Hampshire. Thank you, New Hampshire. I love you.